Hello, my name is Marissa Cavanaugh, and welcome to the McGraw-Hill Education video on how to grade a power of process assignment. Grading power of process is a really easy procedure. The first thing you're going to want to do is log into your Connect course. If you're using Connect through a Blackboard, D2L, or Canvas system, log in there and click on the assignment to get to Connect. As an instructor, the first thing you'll see are the assignments you've given for power of process and all the other assignments in Connect. If the due date is come and gone or students have submitted the assignments, you'll have up at the top a notification that says Assignments to Grade. Click on that and you'll notice there is a link that says Power of Process Assignments. Click on that to access the Power of Process Assignments. Depending upon how many Power of Process Assignments you've given, there may be several listed here. On the right, you may also notice how many submissions you have in your inbox to grade. This could be one or two for students who have submitted early or late or 20 or 30 depending on the size of your course. Click on Submissions to open up and see how many students are listed. It'll show you the name of the student alphabetically, how many points, since I haven't graded this yet it's still 0 out of 100, and the status, which in my case is ready to grade. Click on the status to actually access the student's assignment. The assignment the student has submitted will pop up. In this case, on the left, I have this assignment by Kurt Vonnegut, How to Write in Style, listed, as well as the annotations and responses over here in this tabulated format. I can do a couple of things depending upon how I'd like to grade this. I can hover over the highlights in the essay itself and see what my students have done, or I can use the boxes on the right that are listed as either annotations or responses to see just the breakouts. So in this case, it's an annotation ass assignment. The annotation strategy was analyze the appeals, and here's the question my students were asked. In the text, this particular student highlighted this section of Kurt Vonnegut's writing and responded with this sentence. I can continue down and I can give comments or feedback on each response. In this particular case, it's not an annotation but a written response. This is the strategy again, the questions, and the student response below. If I'd like to give feedback, I can click comment and add my comments directly to the student's strategy and response here. If I'm not commenting on every single strategy or comment, I can go to the bottom and do an overall comment. I can also add in the numerical grade and give my overall feedback. I have the option to save my work and return to this later if I'm unable to do all the comments and feedback I'd like in this particular sitting. When I am finished though and ready to send the grade and the feedback to the students, I would click Submit Score. When I do this, the students will get a similar notification that says to them that your instructor has graded Power of Process and they can access it and view your feedback. If you are using this assignment with Blackboard, D2L, or Canvas, the numerical grade will immediately populate over into your LMS system and Grade Center. If you're using this just with Connect, these grades will also populate into your Connect Gradebook or Reports, as well as the student's gradebook and reports. If you need any additional help or would like to see this demonstration video in more of a PDF format, click on the Help button up at the top in Power of Process. This will actually access a uh, How to Grade Process feature, which will show you this again step by step with pictures. If you need additional assistance, please contact our technical support group and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you very much for using Power of Process.